Hi everyone, it's your boy Master Chief Mike. Um, today I want to talk about a very important thing for me, wrestling. To be specific, I want to talk about the music, the entrance theme music of uh, of the wrestlers. And some of the wrestlers, I, I want to talk about also the, some of the wrestlers who are making music themselves. Um, yeah. I have bought some of the CDs that came out. And I want to show you them. And... I want to also talk about them. So, <clears throat> let's see. So, these are some of my CDs. These are CDs. Um, that have uh, a lot of entrance theme music on them, um, uh, many of them are full of the entrance themes, uh, but uh, so some of them are um, CDs on that uh, wrestlers actually sing or rap, like in, like this one. On this one is are, are only the the wrestlers who sing them sing some songs themselves. The only song that is also a entrance theme is um, "Basic Thugonomics" by John Cena. That was the only entrance theme song that was on this one. But uh, me, he, every other song is uh, just uh, a song that is that was written by somebody else, but they, they either sing it or wrap it but yeah and um, most of these other cities have only the entrance theme songs like uh, this one here this uh, triple pack um with the three diff with three different eras of wrestling, the Federation years, the added to Terra, and the now, which is actually now the past. No, the good old days. Yeah, even the next big thing. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> is to see here. Uh, Tori Wilson's music in the Now era. Trish Stratus. Chris Jericho, the king of the world music. One of, one of us um, other entrance uh, themes that he had. As here, Walls of Jericho. Or uh, break down the walls. Break down the walls. Chris Jericho. Um, yeah, and yeah, the and here the old musics and the old eras. Real American, Hulk Hogan, Hitman, Bret Hart. You see, here the good. Here are good old days. Of pro wrestling, um, 
Uh, I don't know really what which music is on this one because obviously it's not the real CD. It's just a copied one. Somebody copied, made the copy, and gave me that as a present. But then there are some mu old musics on that one, and this this is the you. This is a, a one of the musics, uh, uh, one of the CDs, one of the older ones with, uh, yeah, the game with. Key Quick, <laughs> with now our truth, and all other old songs you, you can see. Here, Pi, the number fourteen, is actually a rap, not a entrance entrance theme music. It's a rap. Uh, and, and he and the rock wrapped it he he wrapped on a CD <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah here on this one are only instruments um, theme musics on this one too on this one too and here are all the three different eras. Here, yeah, like I've said, here on this one, uh, some wrestlers sing, some wrestlers rap. Uh, and on this one, this one are only entrance themes except for one. And that is the last one. Untouchables is not an entrance theme, theme song. It's a rap that is rapped by John Cena, but uh, he didn't use this rap as a entrance theme song. So, that was it with these CDs. Now we go to these CDs. Um, these are... Um, CDs from wrestlers who are also singers or rappers. But John Cena, he doesn't he doesn't rap anymore, not really. I haven't hear him. I haven't hear him rap in years. He made here and there a rap for some of his music for some of his. Movies, but uh, he didn't. He didn't really rap anymore. I haven't heard uh, him rap in years. Here is also his entrance theme. The time is now, which we all know all too well. Now, because uh, if you are a wrestling fan, you know the time is now. You know the music. The time is now. Because it's because it. Uh, every time I hear this song, I. It, it gets. It still gets on my nerves. I I found this older entrance theme song way better. Basic thugonomics. But hey, <clears throat> and he didn't make a new entrance theme song since. So yeah, it's still this. The time is now, and yeah, uh, like I've said, I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I liked it at the beginning, but now it gets on my nerves. Yeah, um, this is Undiscovered by Brooke Hoban, 
a album i i wanted to know how how she sounds i i didn't hear I didn't listen to it yet but i wanted to know it's i think it's her first cd i think it's her first cd that's why i bought it and i wanted to hear, uh, hear her sing yep she looks pretty good um yeah but uh, i i haven't heard her sing yet so i will listen to it maybe tomorrow or in the next days uh, but but to all the other cds that i have i already listened uh i i, I already listened to the other cds that i have here fuzzy that's chris that's the band who has chris jericho as lead singer he is that's a metal band and on this cd i i've bought, bought this cd because uh it has his new entrance theme song Judas on it. I actually liked it even before he had it as uh, his new theme song, but uh, I liked it already even before he had it as his now entrance theme song. But hey, um. It, it sounds good, and and the rest the rest of the songs sound good as well. I I'm ha I happy that I I bought it, and it's it's really cool to see uh, a different side of uh, a different side of Chris Jericho. I haven't heard him sing, except. For the song that is on originals, he s s uh, sang a song uh, that is called. Wait a minute, I will find it. Uh, Chris Jericho, "Don't You Wish You Were Me," number twelve. That's the first time that I heard him sing. Now, uh, I have one of the CDs from him and his band, the the band Fuzzy. Yeah, and it sounds pretty good. The, the, the song on the originals from him, made by Jim Johnston, I think, sounds good as well. Now to Mickey James. Somebody's gonna pay. Is that album? Uh, yeah, she's a good singer too. Country rock, I think. Uh, it sounds good. Somebody's gonna pay. And hardcore country is her entrance theme song on Impact Wrestling. Yeah, she she wasn't WWE but. But she, but she uh, is now an Impact Wrestling and Hardcore Country is a theme song, entrance theme song. And sorry, I have to focus. Yeah. S yeah. Um, it sounds good and the other songs sound pretty good as well. Even though I am not really a big fan of country music. But the country rock makes it. It sounds good. It sounds pretty good. So yeah. Uh, I forgot one thing to mention. The new there's a song, Judas. On this one, is uh, his new entrance theme song. I I I think I forgot to mention this, but I. Or I, no. What I forgot to mention is Judas is the new theme song of Chris Jericho, but in AEW, not in WWE. That was the thing that I forgot to mention. Yeah. Next to the... No. I have not only the CDs, 
uh, as you can see here, I have also some entrance theme songs on my computer and uh, saved on some devices that I can save some of the music for, uh, of. I, I can save some music on these devices. So uh, and I have saved some good old uh, entrance theme music on these devices. And I, I love, I love this music because they are really a big part of wrestling. Every time you hear a music, you know who is uh, coming to the ring or once you know, you know what I mean, huh? the, the, all, all the wrestling fans know what I mean. You, if you hear a, um, a gong, you hear, you, you think the Undertaker is coming now, yeah. he, he's, he's, he, uh, comes to the ring. Or if you hear hardcore country, you know, Mickey James is coming to the ring. Or if you hear, if you smell what the rock is cooking. No, no, that's the catchphrase. Um, but, uh, can, can you smell what the rock is cooking is uh, the thing that he says at the beginning of his entrance theme song. I think so, when you hear this, you know it's the rock. No, that's that, that is that is I, I, I love this songs. I, I love this songs because this is a big part of wrestling. It shows the different personalities. And the different characters, like Reverend D. Vaughn, I love the gospel song. The gospel song that, that they've made for Reverend D. Vaughn. Uh, I still to listen to, listen to, uh, listen to it uh, every now and then. I, I listen to many of his songs. Um, like I've said, the music is a big part of wrestling. And I love, I, I still love to listen to it to, to this day. Like I love to watch wrestling. To this day. Yeah. But enough of that. Now I want to come to the end of this video. It was a lot of fun to talk about this because I love wrestling so much. I love this music and I love the actual uh, things, I, I love the things that they do in the ring. I, I, I'm a 36 year old man. I, I, I know I'm pretty old, but I, I still love to see the wrestlers do the things that they do in the ring. It, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I will, I will forever be a fan of pro wrestling. That will never change. I'm a big wrestling fan since I was a nine year old. And yeah, I love it. Yeah, mm. but enough of that. You will see me in the next video and yeah.
Wait a minute. <laughs> we will see me in the next video. I hope it was not too boring for you <laughs> to listen to the old man. See you, in, see you hopefully in the next one. Your boy, Master Chief Mike.